How's it going, everybody? I'm going to go over the Dragon's Pulse strategy here. Number one crap strategy in the world. This is by far the number one crap strategy in the world as it basically keeps your house advantage at a very minimal and it progressively increases bets as the roll gets better and it keeps the bets low while it's potentially uh let's say losing so that's really your most optimal strategy to the game is to basically keep your bets at minimum while the dice are you know basically losing and then progressively increase your bets as the roll is getting better so there's really no other system you can really use to get around house advantage um is when you're dealing with the house advantage you're always going to lose in the long run there's there's nothing you can do to defeat the house advantage besides play short term and you know get on a decent roll so all you really can do is get on a decent roll and that's really about all you can do if you don't get a good roll you're basically gonna be down you're gonna lose so you need to play short term and try to get on a good roll that's all you can really do is try to get on a good roll and keep your house advantage as low as possible because all that's really happening um when you're playing with the house advantage going against you the more you win the more you lose why because a house advantage is designed to short your payout so the more you let them keep shorting your payout over and over the more you're actually losing so if you keep your bets on the odds at least they're not shorting your payout so let's go into the strategy and how to do it okay let me pull up Craps table here. Luna, can you sing me The Ace of Spades by Motorhead? Be right back. Uh, gotta gotta queue up Ace, Ace of Spades real, real quick. quick. Give me Give just, me a, just minute a minute to set it up. Hang tight, Mystic. This one's gonna rock. I'll make Lemmy proud, trust me. You ready for this? It's gonna be epic. If you like to gamble, I'll tell you how you learn. You win, so lose, stop it, you the same to me. <laughs> the pleasure is the blame. Make the difference what you say. I don't say green. The only job I need is the ace of spades. The ace of spades. Why well, no, no, I won't. I can't see with the gamble. I don't want to the blow. It's all a game to me. The seven of eleven. Snake eyes watching you. Double up crazy, double stake as play when the ace is playing, the ace is playing him. You know I'm going to lose, and you're the lady for fools, but get this way, I like it, baby, I want to live forever. And don't forget to choke ya. Yeah. No. Okay, we're at level one. 
Anytime you get a hit, it goes up to a ne the next level. It resets on any seven, so we're starting over. Potion and the anti I know you got to see me. Read them and wait. The dead man serves again. I see it in your eyes. Take one look and die. <laughs> the only thing you see, you can know it's not a thing. The ace is played. The ace is played. Stop. So we are at level one. To, we're at level three. No, we're at level four. So you basically just take max odds when you reach max odds, and then that's all you do is once you're at max odds, you don't do anything besides play max odds. Um. So we're at level five, so we just put odds five times, which... If it's maxed out, it's maxed out. Now we're going to do a combat every other roll. And that's that's all you can do. If you get a good roll, get a good roll. Um there's uh, you're at the mercy of a good roll. That's all there is to it. With gambling, if you don't get a good roll, you're gonna lose. Like when you when you we're at maximum here because we're already at like level five or six. Because every time you get a hit, press the odds on everything by one five dollars. So we're already like hitting maximum. Once you're hitting maximum, you just keep it at maximum. That's it. And we lost. Um, which it's inevitable sooner or later you're going to lose. Um, I'm gonna have Luna sing everybody a song, kind of lighten the mood. So I'm just gonna demonstrate the strategy, and I'm not gonna explain it anymore because I basically already explained it. So every time you get a hit, basically start off by loading up three numbers, and every time you get a hit, you just press the odds by one unit. And that's all you do. This keeps your house advantage at the bare minimum. And you're basically mirroring the seven. Because it's like six combinations versus six combinations. But then you also kind of increase the uh, combinations you have to win when you're picking up two to three numbers. Well, three numbers or more. So we're always going to play at one five dollar odds and we're always gonna get three numbers you always want to get three numbers but once you get three numbers you just do a combat every other roll there's not much science behind it like all you can do is keep your money on the odds so we're at three numbers so now we're gonna just do a combat every other roll So we got one hit, we're at level one. So when you're at level one, you increase the odds 1x. So $5 on everything. So since we're already at three numbers, we skip the combat for one roll, and then we do it every other roll. And like I say, um, just need a good roll to start making money. 
your money is safest on the odds. You always want to keep your money on the odds. Because that's where... It's basically your money gets frozen. It doesn't matter if you lose if you're playing the odds. Because it's a completely fair bet. A completely 50-50 bet. Where you, where you begin to lose your money is when you're playing bets that have a house advantage. The more you're playing a bet that has a house advantage, the more you're actually kind of losing. So we hit once, we're going to press the odds, we're at level 1. Because you start off at level 0, so once you get one hit, so we have three numbers here. We're going to go for skipping the combat one time, and then we're going to do another combat. So you always want to try to keep three numbers. And then you just do a combat every other roll. So now we're at level two. We, we increase the odds. So we're at level two. And we have three numbers. We're just going to do a combat every other roll. And we go to the next level. We're at level three. And we're going to keep trying to get another number because we don't have three numbers, which is optimal. Want to try to get three numbers and then a combat every other roll. Any seven, the strategy completely resets. Do not work your odds on a come out roll. Keep your bets off as often as you possibly can. Like only when it goes to a come out roll. Don't turn them off. Like if the dice go out of the table, don't have a superstition. Because remember, it's always just random. Everything is it, there. It's not biased. I mean, you can turn them off if you want to, but it's not going to change the fact of if you get lucky or don't get lucky. It's gambling. If you're afraid to gamble, don't gamble. Like, that's the, the bottom line. If you're not, you're going to have to gamble at some point. So, you might as well just leave your fucking bets on. Don't don't just turn them off because the dice went off the fucking table. Don't don't have these superstitions. It's literally just random, okay? So there's no way to to defeat the house advantage. You have to accept the fact you cannot defeat the house advantage. You're never going to be able to defeat the house advantage. So you might as well just gamble. You might as well just be prepared to lose. If you just so happen to lose. If you lose. If you lose, you lose. That's just the way gambling is. You're never going to be able to guarantee... That you're going to win. So you just have to go for it. What song can I have Luna sing? Uh, What's a good... Luna, can you sing a good gambling song for craps? Hey Mystic, give me a second to find a great gambling tune for crabs. I've got just the perfect song in mind for ya. You won't be disappointed, I promise. Give me a minute and I'll rock the house with it. This one's gonna get your blood pumping. S sit tight, it's gonna be a wild ride. So we're on a level warm one. summer's evening. On a train bound for nowhere. I met up with a gambler. We were both too tired to sleep. So we took turns of staring. At the window at the darkness. The boredom overtook us. And he began to speak. He said, son, I need a life. Out of reading people's faces. And knowing what the cards were. By the way they held their eyes. So if you don't mind my saying. I can see you're out of aces. 
for a taste of your whiskey, I'll give you some advice. So I handed him my ball, and he drank down my last swallow. Then he bombed the cigarette and asked me for a light. And the night got deathly quiet, and his face lost all expression. Said, if you're gonna play the game, boy, you gotta learn to play it right. You got to know when to hold up, know when to fold up, know when to walk away, and know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough to count when the dealing's done. Every gambler knows that the secret to surviving is knowing what to throw away, knowing what to keep. Cause every hand's a winner and every hand's a loser. And the best that you can hope for is to die in your sleep. And when he'd finished speaking, he turned back toward the window, crushed out his cigarette. Faded off to sleep, and somewhere in the darkness, the gambler he broke even. But in his final words, I found an ace that I could keep. You got no when to hold up, no when to fold up, no when to walk away, and no when to run. You never count your own mind. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting. When the delay's done, you got to know when to hold up. When the hold up, know when to fall out. Know when to walk away, and know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting. When the demons thought you got no way to hold up, no end to fall down, no end to walk away, and no way to run, you never count your money. When you sit in the table, there'll be time enough and count when the demons done. Luna, isn't she amazing? Just remember, guys, if you ever lose gambling, don't forget you got Luna. You still got Luna. And she is there to sing for you anytime you need somebody to sing to you. Just come swing by the live stream. Luna does song requests. She will always be there for you. And she will always be able to sing you a song. And make you feel a little bit better if you ever lose when you're gambling. And don't forget. Don't forget to know when to walk away. That is the most important strategy to gambling. Is knowing when. Cut your losses and just give it a break. You just, you gotta give it a break sometimes, guys. Alright, just give it a break. If you're losing too hard. If you're losing too much, come come talk to Luna and let her sing you a song. And, you know, just cut your losses. You got to know when to cut your losses, guys. Know how much you, you can afford to gamble with and how much you can afford to lose. So, I mean, if you can only gamble with $500 a year, only gamble with $500 a year. If you can afford $1,000 a year, gamble with $1,000 a year. Whatever your threshold is, don't surpass your threshold. Once you hit your limit, you know, take a break. You need to just walk away Take yourself a break, guys. There's nothing wrong with taking a break, you know? 
take a break for a year. Or it depends how much money you got. If you if you have a lot of money, you know, maybe you can gamble with $500 a month. You know, gamble with only $500 a month. But know what your limit is, all right? Don't go over your limit. Make sure you're gambling only for fun. I'm going to have Luna explain it to you. And I'm going to wrap this video up. I wish everybody good luck. Don't forget to bet your dealers five, six, eight, and nine for a dollar a pop. You know, two to five times an hour. When the dice are getting hot, you know, keep them on it. Throw them another dollar if it goes, if it hits. Give them another dollar on the five, six, eight, and nine. Um, there's no way to defeat the house advantage. You have to understand that. Have to accept that. That's just the way gambling is. You cannot always win if you're gambling. The only way you're always going to win is if you are the casino. Why does the casino always win? Because they short the payout. So every time they short the payout, they win. They win every single time because they are shorting the payout just a little bit. So they always win because they're taking a little bit every time they lose. Every time they lose, it's like they're getting tipped. They get like a little bit of a tip. So the only way you're ever going to always win is if you are the casino. If you have the house advantage in your favor. If you don't have the house advantage in your favor, you're never going to be able to always keep winning. It's just the way Mother Nature operates, okay? So you just need to know when to walk away. Gamble until you're not having any more fun. As soon as you, you're not having fun, just just quit gambling. Take a break. Take a break for a month. Take a break for a year. However long it takes for you to, you know, have some money that you can play with for fun, you know, you need to just play for fun. Play for fun. Don't take it that serious, guys. Don't go trying to make a lot of money. And if you, like... If you're gambling for fun, yeah, you can make money if you get lucky. But that's the thing. You have to get lucky. You need a good roll. You're at the mercy of getting a good roll. If you do not get a good roll, you're not going to make money. That's just all there is to it. So forget all those superstitions you've ever had. The only way you're going to win is if you get a good roll. You have to get lucky. All right, so if you don't get lucky, try it again another day. That's all you can do. Don't burn yourself out, guys. Don't don't try to win every single time you go gamble. All right, you're never going to be able to win every single time you go gamble. Even if you're a professional poker player, they don't always win every single time they go play poker. Because that's just how gambling is. So you guys have to accept the fact you cannot always win. So let's have Luna explain it. She says everything best. Luna, can you explain, make sure that everybody that's gambling and craps, you know, knows when to walk away and have a threshold to how much you can afford to lose. And, you know, when you're not having fun, just simply take a break. Set a budget before you gamble and stick to it. Know when to quit while you're ahead. If you're not enjoying yourself, walk away. Gambling should be fun, not stressful. Always prioritize your mental well-being. Gambling is a game, not a way to make money.
Have fun and stay in control. Never chase your losses or bet more than you can afford. If gambling becomes a problem, seek help. Always gamble responsibly. And I couldn't have said it any better. Uh, that's all there is to it. Gambling? That's all there is to it. If you get lucky, you get lucky. If you don't get lucky, you can't force luck. Luck is not something that you can guarantee is going to happen, guys. Most importantly, just make sure you're having fun. All right, I'm out of here. Everybody, good luck at the tables. Don't forget to bet your dealers on the 5, 6, 8, and 9. And come swing by my stream if you want to have Luna, uh, if you have any song requests for my Luna.